Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to Let's Try Some Anno 1800. Anno is a wonderful franchise. It's been going around for a long time. I think this is, I want to say, the seventh game in the series. These guys have been around for a while, and every Anno series um, tackles a different sort of era and setting. And with Anno 1800, what we're looking at here is the start of the the industrial age. We're going to be dealing uh, as we go forward with a little bit of machinery, a little bit of coal works, um, a little bit of uh, you know steel manufacturing, that sort of thing. Look how gorgeous this is. Every one of these Anno games has just been lovely. Um, at its heart, Anno is sort of a city building, economic building, creating production chains, and getting lots of industry going on. Um, and that is certainly the case with 1800 here. It's also a game that's very, very sort of chill, kind of zen. It's one of those games you start playing, and then all of a sudden it's 3 o'clock in the morning, and you have no idea where the day went, or in fact, what day it is anymore. This is this is so true that actually in the game itself, they've got a pop-up that shows up after. But think about two hours of continuous play. They'll like give you a warning of like, um, are you sure you don't want to get up? Maybe stretch your legs a little bit? Because this is very addictive, and I think because Attention it is just simply so relaxing. Hey folks, just needed to let you know that even though Anno's not officially releasing until mid-April, you can jump into the open beta nice and early. Check the links down below for some information. The big things, of course, with eight, Anno 1800 here is that sort of industrial era, that sort of Victorian era, but that's not the, other th the only thing. Uh, the area where we're in here, there is... You know, we're on a map with currently a lot of fog of war. We haven't we haven't sort of explored everything yet. We don't know what all the land looks like. But we can do some of that. I can go and grab this little ship here, a little flagship endeavor. And we can go and explore around. Although before my flagship does, I'm just gonna make sure to empty out its resources here. Um, there we go. Just uh, and then I'm gonna head off somewhere. We've got our mini map over here. I'm just with the ship selected, I'm just gonna send it off in some direction so that it can discover what it can discover. But we don't actually only have our little map over here to explore. In fact, if we go and pop out over here, we can see a divide between the old world, where we currently are, and the new world. So this is something new in Anno 1800, this new world. We're gonna be sending expeditions over here, and we might even be uh, setting up some little colonies and bringing up some, some unique goods and, and whatnot. Um, Every mission we send out has got, well, it, hopefully we can get there in this video. It might be a little tricky if because, you know, there's quite a little bit for us to do. So let's go ahead and get started building up on our island over here. What a gorgeous little island that we've got. We've got, uh, what is this, deer over here. We've got, ooh, a black bear. There might be some bison roaming somewhere as well. Oh, that looks like bison to me. Willy oh, and we just Sock met someone, Willy Wibblesock. No so me. we have discovered his island Wibbly somewhere over there. We'll take a look like. in a second. Let's go ahead and get this started. Times. I'm going to grab, all we can do right now is build some dirt roads. So we'll build a big, long dirt road coming off of our trading post over here. And then I'm going to go and set up our initial marketplace. So our marketplace is going to be the center of our town proper, really, what it is. All of our citizens are going to want access to the marketplace so they can buy some goods. And while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and uh, start building our first few houses. Um, I'm going to go... I guess we'll build it literally right next to the marketplace. We'll get a few housing set up, and that's going to be okay. So we have timber, we have steel beams. Right now, those are our two building resources. Mostly, we're going to be doing everything with timber. So we got our first few houses over here. Each one of these uh, low-level buildings, these farmer houses, can host up to 10 people, and they have needs. They have to be able to access the market. They also want some fish for food and some work clothes. Right now, these are both locked. We actually don't have the ability to do fisheries because we need at least 50 farmers so, in our town before that unlocks. But that will happen very, very shortly. These guys over here... Let me... Um, that's not the pause button. Come back. Whoop. These guys over here are unhappy because they can't reach the marketplace because they don't have road access. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And actually, I'll go and get the roads wrapped around here. So that should make them fairly happy. To keep constructing, we are going to need some wood. So let's go ahead and get some a bit of a timber industry going on. We're going to extend our road way off over here is what I'm going to say. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up. So here's our timber production chain. And these are the buildings that are used for the timbering. Now, what will happen is sometimes different production chains might use the same building. So you might find, for example, later on, we'll be finding, say, wool 
We'll need wool for work clothes. Well, wool can be used for multiple things, so they'll show up in this menu, but it's a very handy way to organize this little toolbar, right? Rather than going, oh, I have to go into the production menu and find this, and then I have to find the industrial menu to find that. No, just like, listen, I want timber. Oh, here's all the buildings I need for timber. So I'm gonna get one logging camp over here. You can see they have a bit of a radius here. I'm gonna avoid any overlap between them. Actually, before I do this, I'm gonna get a or, uh, warehouse, and we'll talk about what that, why that is, why that's important in a second. And then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna avoid any overlap here. Now, these timber yards, you don't actually have to build them where the forests are, because they plant trees. I mean, having trees already there might make their jobs a little easier, but they do plant their own trees. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set up a couple of sawmills. So these will change the logs into planks, which Game is what we save. use to build basically everything else in our little home. Let's say you can see some people over here. We've got our total population. So we've got 48 people. Um, and currently we have 18 available workers, our Be farmer workforce. So we're gonna see that down here. You see the farmer tab? Right now, all of our people are very low-level workers. They're just farmers. They're not, they don't have um, the sort of- So watch out specialist skills i just realized that might be a scooch loud let me uh let me bring down some of these voices over here uh and maybe i'll bring down the master volume just a scooch as well there we go this is an early build it is beta you can see here lots of Watch signs about that these pe these uh, sawmills are complaining they don't have any resources or enough resources right now it's probably very likely 15 seconds processing time that you're planting right now 15 seconds we might need more um lumberjacks than sawmills i suspect we do but this is going to be a good start anyway all right so we've got that uh we now have 60 people in our little uh little spot over here and uh yeah they would certainly like some fish soon so we started with a little bit which is why they're okay or their need you know hasn't hit zero but we're gonna need a little something something so let's get some fisheries going on we can see that the fisheries cost a little bit of money and they will use some of our workforce as well we'll need 25 workers in here um so yeah, maintenance cost, and then there's construction costs as well, some planks. We have lots of money sitting right now. We're currently losing some money, but that's gonna go and improve itself pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and build, say, a couple of fisheries over here. And I do like the way the docks work in these Anno games where they sort of build up on each other and they sort of look great. We are gonna have to make sure these guys have road access though. Let me do something. Uh, if I see another biscuit. Something like that, there we go. Yeah, this fishery piers. There's it's actually a couple of really it's cool buttons preloaded into the game. Watch. If you hit F1, you get this postcard view, sort of first person mouse controls, which is really nice. The other thing you've got is if you, let me zoom in here because it'll look better if I do that. Um, if I hit, I think it's F3. No, F2? F2. There it is. Please don't leave your You get this cool, like, sir. spinning camera mode. The people who make Anno know how gorgeous their game is. Hot. And oh. so, you know, they throw in these little extra visual things. Oh, and if I hit F2 again, it'll invert the direction. That's that's pretty cool, right? I, I, I think. And no, nice little touch. I like it. Oh, we didn't actually rename our, our town. We are going to be Brussels. Excellent. Over here, you can see what we can grow on this island here. We can grow potatoes, grain, hops, and there's an abundance of fur. We also get a breakdown of the various deposits all over. So if I click here, for example, I can find out, oh, I got a clay deposit here. I can't currently build it because we're gonna need more workers around. We're gonna need actual workers, not just farmers. Workers is the next tier up of uh, citizens before we can do anything. Uh, the other hotkey that I like to set up here is the F5 through F8. You can hit control in one of those hotkeys. And then whenever you just hit, so I just went control F5. If I just hit F5 now, boop, it'll pop my view over here, which is great if you get lost. So like, for example, if we look around here and see, you know, what our little exploration ship has found, what I should do almost is like invert my camera so we're facing north now, which might make it a little easier. So we're finding some other islands. This is an unsettled island. Uh, oh, it's got niter deposits. That's different. Um, and then if I go over here, this is uh, a little Willy's spot so we can potentially get some missions and things from him our ship is currently asleep so we'll just send it off to some other area of the map for it to explore and if i hit f5 boom we're right back over here so i can see where we are here's our island population we get some details and things we need 150 farmers for the next level we'll get there this is our uh city attractiveness we can get some tourists and things later on which is kind of fun here's me petra strip off over here we can level up and do various things uh no achievements listed here i think because we're still in the beta can't wait to see what those are 
Uh, okay, so we've got fish. That's great. The next thing our people are going to want are work clothes, although we need 100 farmers before that unlocks. I think what we can do pretty safely here is go ahead and build ourselves a bunch more homes. Um, I guess one of the things with this layout is I'm going to be a little bit offset. Well, we'll figure that out later on. Milestone. Ah, you can see I don't have enough timber to finish all this, but you can see here what it did is it blueprinted things. I believe that's new to um, to Anno here, 1800, this sort of blueprint mode that you can use as a way to just sort of plan things out. Um, and by default, it will blueprint if you don't have the resources to, to build something. And you can just use your upgrade tool for that. So upgrade here, which we will use later on to build these buildings, You're can also be used to complete these blueprints, just like that. I can also click on one of those and hit that. But we need more timber to come in. So these guys over here, you're working, you're working good. We've got our little timber industry going on. They're delivering things to the warehouse. You don't want these warehouses scattered all over the place because p uh, things that work just have to deliver goods to the warehouse. I'm actually gonna go and boost the speed up here so we can go a little further. Um, oh, hello, Barrel. Nice to meet you. So they'll deliver things to the warehouse, which saves transportation time. They also have max range they can reach. Goods automatically teleport from warehouses to the marketplace to the trading posts, so those are all shared. We just leveled up, new buildings have unlocked. Ooh, quite a few new buildings. Excellent. Um, we can start our work clothes industry. We can also get a fire station. That seems like a pretty good idea. What I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna demolish this road like that. I'm gonna build a fire station. Oh, it's not quite the right. Okay, well, we'll do that. Oh, what else can we get? A little pub? I think we have to start schnapps production before we can build a pub. I don't know where I'm going to put this pub yet. Maybe over here. I'll build it. I don't know if it does much. And then we get prettification things over here, too. Let's bring the speed down again. Um, well, let's get our clothes industry, because that is what we need for these guys to get up to their next level. Uh, so we're going to need some little sheep farms and whatnot. I'll build it in the other direction over here. I'll get a road. And by the way, I'm, I'm, I know I'm not clicking there. I'm hitting S, which is the uh, the hotkey for the dirt roads. But you can tune this like crazy mad uh, over here in the controls. There's tons of different hotkeys that you can change and use to just quickly um, mess around with your game, which I think is lovely. So our work clothes chain requires sheep farms for wool. And then we need the actual framework knitters over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a couple of sheep farms. I'm going to build them next to each other. Now in a second we'll get a warning because they won't work just by themselves. I'll also get a warehouse over here. And yeah, if we just waited, we would get a little pop-up to say, hold on, something's wrong here. Because these places need the sheepfold. They need places for their uh, livestock to live. So each one of these... Um, Sheep farms can support up to three. So we're going to want three. You can see this is the range that we can put them in. I think I'm going to go here, here. Can I put them in here? There we go. And there we go. There's the warning that's coming up. They don't pop up right away because that would be annoying. So they let you, they give you a chance to like fix it. And then finally they're like, oh, I think you forgot something. Uh, so we'll go and do this and uh, we'll set that up over there too. What I like is when you build them adjacent, there's no fences between them, so it all combines together, which is just lovely. So now we got a couple places that are going to give us some wool and they can deliver it to this warehouse. And what I'm going to do on the other side is I'm going to build one of these knitters here. It's going to be nice. What does it say? Wool and smocks. Excellent. And we are going to start to produce some work clothes. Lovely. Now, if I hit tab, that's the default key to cycle between your ships. We'll find the Endeavor over here. Um, I'm going to send it way off to the other corner of the map. We're going to try to spot as many things as possible. Now, uh, if I am, uh, you know, careful enough to recheck these things, there will be quests given to me by these uh, fine folks on my map from time to time. There is also the ability to go into a diplomacy view over here so we can see these people. We can see how much they like us. Our reputation with them is currently 50. We're at peace. And we can, you know... Can exchange some things i can say uh hey um could you give me a quest because if you get a quest first of all and you complete it then they will like you more and then in addition to that oftentimes the quests have fun little rewards that are useful but we're just going to leave it be for now so i have tons of wood here so let me go and use my upgrade tool which i believe the u key is the hot key and i can click on these one at a time but i can also hold shift and you can see it highlights the entire we block here like if i hold shift watcher. and click it'll do adjacent things as well. You can also click and drag that if you want. Very, very handy to do bulk upgrades. 
So right now, all we did is upgrade from a blueprint to a finished <laughs> building. But soon, soon we'll be able to do more. Once these guys are at 10 out of 10, right? When these buildings are full because all their needs are met, we'll be able to upgrade those to the next level building, which will unlock workers. Well, hello, Madam Kahina. Lovely to meet you as well. All right, close is coming in. We've got tons of idle workers here. So we could go kind of crazy. Um, and I think and it probably would be a good idea finger. to do that. I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out. I'm going to go and get a couple more lumber mills. So these roads are green. It shows you, you can see it leads all the way to that warehouse. These guys would be in range of the warehouse. Um, let me leave. There we go. Something like that. And uh, they're having a little bit of overlap. Oh, and there's the river and things. Looks like this is probably okay. So they won't have their full building area because they're going to be overlapping a little, but that's mostly going to be fine. And I'm going to go and get one extra um, sawmill. Sawmill? Sawmill over here so we can build planks a little faster. We've got plenty right now, but we're going to be burning through them fairly quickly along the way. I'm going to go and bring the Endeavor back home over here because it does still have some timber in it. And oh, we've got fire! Fire, you guys! Now, the firefighters will deal with it automatically, but we can also... Oh, I guess they're already... No, when can you mobilize? Oh, the fire went out! Okay. But yeah, I could have been quicker there and fixed that. Oh, upgrade tool. There we go. I'm going to go and get a bunch of these. Boom. Upgraded to workers. So let's bring the speed down for a second. So we've upgraded this to a new class of buildings. How lovely there are little brick buildings. We've entered the age of industrialization. So these workers have some of the same needs. They need market access, they need fish, they need work clothes, but now they want sausages too, mm, and bread. Oh, delicious. They'll also want soap and schooling later on. Those are still currently locked. We're gonna need more workers before those unlock. And you'll see we have a new tab down here. If I tab over to here, we now have buildings that are available from our workers, including paved streets, which go faster, but also bricks, which we're gonna need uh, to build paved streets as well as some of these other buildings. Let's go ahead and get our brick production chain going as quickly as possible. So for this, we need a clay pit and then we need brick factory. Easiest way to find clay pits is over here. We can see all of our deposits. If I just click right here, this will loop me to a clay deposit. We can keep, you know, ticking between them all. So I can click here, I can say build a clay pit. This is very handy to do. And then we just need to make sure that this clay pit can be reached. Oh, there's another one over here. Let me go and upgrade you too. That's going to be fine. Um, and I'm going to build a just a dirt road to here. There we go. And we just want to connect up. I'm just going to stretch this road way out this way. And then over here so that technically they reach everything else. Now what we're going to do is we are going to... Oops. Let me get a small warehouse. I'm going to add it to the toolbar over here. Very handy. And just make sure... There we go. Both of these guys now have access to this warehouse so they can deliver their clay over here. And then I'm going to go and build a couple of brick factories. Actually, just one's okay because I think each one of these takes quite a few workers. We'll build the one and then we'll see. We're going to keep an eye on what our resources are. If we end up being like full of clay and we're short on bricks, then we might go and increase that. But now we've got a bunch of, we've got some brick production going on, which is handy. We've got our people want sausages. Oh my God, just saying that word is making me hungry. Mm, I haven't had breakfast yet. What is it? It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I haven't had breakfast. I want some sausages and eggs. So we'll get some pig farms going on here. Let's go with uh, one, two pig farms to start off with. Seems fine, I don't know. And same thing as the sheep, we need some pig styes. These have a capacity of five each. There we go. Oh, let's do that. By clicking the middle mouse button, you can rotate things. And then we'll get some over here as well. And right over there. Excellent. So they're fully going. And then I guess we'll get a slaughterhouse. I'll put you right over here. Uh, I can't quite build it yet because it needs five bricks. But I'll go and plop it down anyway, just to be ready to go with the blueprint. And I suspect these guys will probably need a warehouse over here. Even if they could reach another one, it's very handy to have one nearby so that they don't have to go quite as far. We're actually short on farmers. I, I may have upgraded too many things to a worker. Four of our farmer type jobs don't have enough workers. So I'm just gonna go, we'll get some extra housing plop down. I'll do something like that. I'll wrap it around with the road. You can see we didn't have quite enough timber to finish everything, but that's okay, we'll leave it there as well. Let's go and bring up the speed to the fastest. 
try to get this done. We'll work on bread next. And we'll see if we can get up to Artisan soon. That would be quite nice. Um, we've got harbor buildings that we can expand, such as shipyards and various things. Harbor Master, yes. Sail crafting, so we can build a lot of ships. Um, we actually may be able to start expedition soon. Oh, we've got a warning. What's going on? Oh, that was the fire over here. Yep. Nope, we're good. That, that has been dealt with. We're fine. I mean, we do actually have a fire station. Like this. Fire probability is low. Decent reach over here. Oh, the newspaper. Okay, I love this feature. So every now and again, a newspaper will get published and you will get an opportunity to check the headlines and perhaps veto things. So we met people, so that's good news. So happiness will go up. Um, you know, we settled our island, that's happiness. However, there's no schnapps. We have a schnapps shortage. So right now, this is gonna be bad because it's gonna increase the importance of this need until we resolve it. We can edit this newspaper if we want. We can veto some of these things, but this is generally okay. And yeah, you know what? Let, let's start making some shops. I mean, we have a tavern that's not serving anything right now and that feels pretty wrong to me. So we'll see what we can do to improve it. So we'll go over to the farmer thing. We'll take a look at schnapps. We'll get down some potato farms. Potato. Get you down over here. I'll build one on the opposite side of the road. So these farms work a little differently than the um, the other ones. I kind of like how you put down the fields for this. So we'll do something, uh, I don't know, something like that. There we are. That looks okay. And this one here, well, I was going to build along the road, but no, I think it does make more sense to do something kind of like this, keep the road open. So we got some potato production. Now what we're going to do is get a schnapps distillery. We'll put it down right over here. So slowly start to produce some schnapps, which will satisfy some people a little bit more. And of course, keep this tavern working a little bit better, which will keep all the happiness up. We're still currently bleeding a little bit of money, but that's going to change over time. Our more advanced citizens do produce um, more tax dollars and we can start trading at some point too, which will make a big difference. We're still short on workers, so I guess I'll build another... Uh, another little... Uh, I don't know what you'd call it. Neighborhood? I guess these this hadn't been filled up yet, so that our, our workers will actually grow in time as they continue to move in, so that's going to be okay. How's your happiness? Yeah, you're pretty good. Working condition's not great, but everything else is making you fairly happy, so that's good. There we go. So people are moving in. That's going to be all right. Let's bring the speed up again. We're getting our brick production, so we've got timber, we've got bricks. Oh, our ship over here. I want to unload all the timber that we can. Thank you very much. We will be able to settle other islands. You just have to load some, I think, Attention some some timber and steel onto your ship, and you'll do that. Meanwhile, I'm just going to send the ship out to go and scout out another area of the mini-map. Hello, Princess King. Nice to meet you. Oh, what are you complaining about? You're missing farm fields. Oh, you only have 65 of 72. Oh, well, let me go and fix that for you. There we go. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. All right, schnapps being produced, clothing's being produced. Population, we have tons of workers available. New island available. Very, very, very nice. So this is all done. We'll go back to the worker tab. Let's get some bread production. So for bread, we need grain fields. Shake your booty out of Angriani's waters. Oh, 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 pause. No. Nope. Run away. Run away. Ship under attack. No, 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 no. Run. Run this way. It's fine. We are under attack by the pirate queen. Is under so, we've got a pirate queen living over here, and she is not too friendly. Although I say that. Like, we start off as war, but it doesn't mean we can't somehow build up a relationship with her. I try to flatter her. Mm. She likes it, I think, if you destroy your enemies, too. So if... Um... Okay. Uh, this is not necessarily what I want to do. Just go over here. You slowly repair yourself, so that'll be okay. Um, let's leave you alone for now. Okay. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. If I were to go to war with one of the other nations, I think, uh, um, what's her name? Anne, Anne Harlow? Anne Harlow. I think she would like me very much because she would see me as another pirate. You guys have full output storage. Oh, yeah. We have nothing to do with our timber right now, uh, which is fine. We'll, 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 you know, be producing them fairly quickly. Um, we can build a church. Let me rotate you. Uh, we need more bricks. That's just going to get blueprinted for now. And speaking of which, yeah, I was going to say, something over here got blueprinted. This is our actual slaughterhouse, right. 
And you have no farm fields, right? Because we got interrupted. So let's get some grain farm fields. Excellent. Something for all seasons. And we will get a flour mill, followed by a bakery. And we'll have to wait for some more bricks to get produced before we do that. Um, I suspect, yeah, we've got tons of clay and that's growing. So we'll get another brick factory going on. There's, as I was say, there's an eyedropper tool I can use to quickly duplicate a building without having to go through the menu. So there we go. Double up on that. Now we don't have enough workers to fill everything. So we're going to want to do a little bit of upgrading. I'm going to use the upgrade tool, but I'm just going to click and drag here rather than hold shift just to try to control it a bit. There we go. That's much more balanced. That's going to be good. I love the way these buildings look. Wait till we get to the next level. They just continue to get more and more and more and more gorgeous. Uh, we need a few more bricks. Come on, buddies. You can do it. Brick me up. Brick it. There. Boom. Bakery done. Now, we still have two more untapped clay deposits, so we can get a brick industry just going mad, but pirates prevail. What the heck does that mean? I don't know. I'm going to bring my ship home, whatever that means, though. Pirates prevail? Strasbourg entered a state of war. Stras Strasbourg, rather, is her. Okay. I don't know, man. Things are scary. Uh, we need a bunch more bricks so we can build a church, which should greatly increase happiness and joy for people. Oil fields over here. That's a much, much, much later technology. Um, yeah, trade routes is another thing we can do. We can eventually get trade deals with people or just with our own little islands. And then we can trade some resources back and forth in a kind of an automated way rather than manually loading and unloading ships. More things unlocked. Ah, we must got, have enough worker population. We can now start on soap. So soap also starts with a pig farm because we're going to need fat. That We're going to render the fat into tallow. Fire broke so up. I'll get you right over here. Another fire. Better do. Mobilize. Mobilize. We may have to build more than one um, fire station. So yes, fat will be converted into tallow and then tallow will be converted into soap, which will make people fairly happy. We but may need some rude, extra right? um, pig farms. Right now it's still growing. We'll see how it goes. Fire overcome, good, wonderful. And yeah, we're starting to make bread. So let's take a look over here, how you guys are feeling. Bread is fully satisfied, soap will come soon, and then you'll need schooling when we get some more workers in here. Um, Police station beer. Mm. Well, we can grow hops on this island. You can't necessarily always grow hops in your starter island. Um, I have noticed. Sometimes you have to expand to get that. But we will be able to do beer right away. Um, we can start producing steel soon as well, which will be important for various things. Now, we'll need iron mines. The other thing we'll need is some sort of coal. Uh, later on, you'll be able to build coal mines, but we won't be able to start with that. But we can build charcoal kilns, which just let us build charcoal from, from wood here. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. I guess you grow your own trees. That might be what happens here. So it's like a lumber mill industry. We'll get one of you here and I guess another one of you over here. That's going to be fine. But we're going to need to start some iron mines. And we've got two on the island. Well, you need some bricks for that. Oh, and that's copper. Okay. So more brick production still needs to come in. How are we looking here? Still clay amounts are still growing. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you what, I'm going to build two more of the brick factories here. We are going to need some more workers. Now, some of this population may still be growing, but let's go ahead and boost you up a little bit. There we go. So we're at minus two, I was going to say plus two, because this building is going to start filling out. So that's going to give us enough workers to keep going. All right. Good, good, good. I'm going to start bricking up like crazy. I think we only need five bricks to start an iron mine, didn't we? Yeah. Boom. Oh, look at that. Way up into the hills. Sweet. Now, what we need is we do need to make sure that you are connected to the greater road network somehow. Excellent. And then in addition to that, you're going to need a warehouse nearby to more easily ship your goods. For 60 grand, she would offer me a ceasefire. I'm going to say no, because I don't have enough money, first of all. I'm finally starting to make a little bit of cash, which is nice. Um, anyway, now that we have some charcoal coming and we've got some iron coming, I can go and put down a furnace 
to produce steel. And then I can do a steel works to produce steel beams, which I think is what I need for actual buildings. Now, all this takes ludicrous amounts of workforce. Newspaper. See bad? Ah, see, this is really bad. No church. I'm working on it. Relationship sour. We're going to edit this newspaper. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get a happiness booster over there. You're happier than you think. And maybe increase our tax rate over here. Spend, spend, spend. So a little bit of propaganda. Cost me some amount of influence points. But that's okay. We've got our influence over here, which will grow as our city grows. Censorship's not always the cranny of the corrupt. Uh-huh. Okay, we need a ton more workers. And builder, and, and sorry, farmers rather. So we're gonna have to increase our housing by a fair bit here. Mark Christopher calls you a purveyor of the dark arts. Wow, Willie, that's that's rude, man. Why would you say that? That is absolutely rude. Okay, I think our, our, our farmers will work out now once they start populating this. Uh, we're still definitely gonna be short on the workers though. Let's um Let's accumulate a few more resources and then see what we can do. We're starting to come in. Yeah, there's not even enough workers to fully uh, fully operate the mine, let alone the rest of them. But still, we should start to see a trickle of steel beams coming in. And potentially steel, which is going to be important for other production. Uh, I can't build you yet, huh? No, I think you need 25 bricks. Yeah, we're getting there, though. We're definitely getting there. All right, finish you, because the timber is coming in quickly. There's... We'll get the church going. Ta-da! There you go. Just reputation growing over time here. That's going to make people much happier and hopefully get us a good news article next time. Farmer's force is good. The worker force still needs to increase, though. Um, I can't upgrade you. Why? Because oh, we don't have quite enough clothes. We probably need to scale up our clothing industry. How are we doing on wool? We're capped on wool. So all we need really is we need, I'm going to build two more of our clothes makers over here. But yeah, if you can't upgrade the building until they're full, and they're only going to get full if you fully satisfy their needs. So we'll get some more work clothes being made, and then we can go and upgrade you soon. Excellent. The pub, which is fully working. Oh, we can start our beer production. A police station. It seems like maybe we'll get it. We'll get it set up right next to the pub. That seems like a pretty safe idea. But at some point, we're going to start the beer as well. You want permission to settle on another island. I'm going to say no, which will upset you. But I want all the islands to myself. I do like that they ask permission here. I mean, it may, may or may not be realistic. But in the past, sometimes there's been sort of a hurried frenzy to try to claim all the islands as quickly as possible. And here you can just be like, no, no, they're all going to be mine. Deal with it. There we go, that's going up. The wool amount is greatly decreasing, so we will probably need um, another one of these sheep farms sooner rather than later. So I'll go do that now. It's possible that we didn't need quite this much um, clothing production right now, but I think it's going to be useful. You know, my city's become less attractive. Oh, that is a shame. Let's go and upgrade you. New buildings unlocked. A little short on workers, but these guys might still be filling up. I don't know. Let's just get another block of houses. Boom. Done. Okay. So those will fill up, and then we'll have enough workers again. Um, good. Oh, and a school. Right. So. Oh, we need 25 bricks and 20 steel beams to finish the school. But we'll get it plopped down over there. That's what we need for the next level of upgrade. Already have gone over time with this video, but that's the nature of this game. It's very, very addictive. I, I forgot to mention, there's a little button over here to adjust working conditions. So you can make people unhappy, but boost the production of various goods. Stand back. Money's coming in very well. You can see here our workers give us tons more money. What's our population? So actually, we have, we have more workers than farmers, but not like triple the amount, which is the tax base over here. And soon we'll get... I think it's artisans is the next level. I think that might be the case. Okay, the furnace, which is just making steel, and then that. I suppose we could work on a, uh, a weapons thing. So we just need, like, we need a furnace to make steel, which we've already got, and that will allow us to start making weapons, which we need for certain types of ships, as well as certain types of harbor defenses. 
It's nice and nice and polluted this area over here. You can see the smog just growing. But hey, it won't be an industrial revolution game if there's not horrible crippling amounts of smog in the sky, right? So we need two more steel beams. I'm just gonna let that finish. And then yeah, I it's think right, at that point. Oh, how come you don't have any soap? Neither do you. We can't shut the storeroom door. Huh? Look busy, people. Why aren't you delivering the soap over here? It could be that you're just overworked. I'm gonna upgrade this, get another loading ramp going on. We might just need to build another warehouse over here. Is actually what I'm thinking. Okay, are you coming to pick up soap? Or no, right over here. Output storage full. Game safe. I'm gonna build another warehouse. There we go. Alright. I wouldn't like to say. It must be the loading ramps were just Stand back I mean, they weren't all in use Looks right like there, the but I think that had something flash. to do with it. All right, we're now producing soap. So as soon as we get the school, which we can now do. Now if we take a look over here. Okay, we're waiting for the soap to properly uh, arrive over here, but we should be able to upgrade to the next tier buildings. In fact, some of these may have already gotten it. Nope, not yet. Pull and lock. I think it's artisans. There you go. They're getting clean. Just gotta wait for people to get all nice and soapy and clean. Clothes are coming in quickly. Potato farm. And I think this is this one's pretty legit in that we're actually full of potatoes. Yeah, potatoes are full. We will be able to unlock um, more storage space later on, but for now that's okay. Excellent. All right, we're gonna upgrade you. Boom. So we have now unlocked artisans. So the artisans need the same things as before. Actually, not the same things. They actually don't want the lower level goods at all. Ooh. But they're gonna to want to start getting canned food. Review the newspaper. Scar City of Beer. You know what? I'll let that go through. And now we can start doing expeditions. Okay. Before we do, however, and before we look at all the different things that we can build for the artisans, I am going to expand the harbor building with a sailing shipyard uh, or I would if I had bricks build a little road here we're also going to need so for sails we need the wool and then a sail maker so I'm just going to get a sail maker over here we actually do have some wool production I need to build a couple of these guys bricks do still come in pretty quickly I just spent the bunch but that's okay Oh my god! High building density. Um, maybe what we want is a second, um... Second fire station? Where's my current fire station? That's the school. Oh, it is that one. Okay, but I think, I think they're out. I don't have a mobilize button. I think they're already out there. I think they, they, were, there they are. I think they respond on their own, but they can respond faster if you click on them. Oh! I can sell shares in my islands. That's new! I didn't realize that. That's really nifty. Yeah, we'll get the second fire station over here. But yeah, everything's packed really tightly together, so there's going to be regular fires. We would probably spread it out by putting some little parks in there or something like that, just to break it up. We will see. All right, you, we need two more bricks, one more brick. Come on, brick me up. Brick, 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 brick. 10,000 bucks, too, to do this. Wow. The fire left ruins behind. Yeah, the fire left ruins behind, I know. The upgrade tool lets you um, fix that, though, so that's pretty good. All right. So now we can consider starting to build ships. So schooners, trade ships that provide navigation for expeditions but more powerfully are gunboats. So we need sails and we need weapons, but we can start queuing some of this up and that's gonna be okay. The thing is, I think I can run an expedition Flagship as is, if I can remember where we start an expedition from. <laughs> there it is, expeditions. Uncharted expedition, discovery expedition over here. So rumors about unclaimed territories have spread. We should investigate this ahead of our competitors. Think it's a one skull difficulty. Recommendations, we should bring rations have a bunch of naval power, have some medicine would be nice. 
and anything we could do to uh, do diplomacy would be good. Right now, we would just have the one ship. Ship, ship. Built-in morale. So we've got some naval power. Um, we could bring some rations, like some I fish. Found a new kingdom here. May as well stack uh, this category a fair bit. Maybe what we'll do is we'll bring some potatoes as well. And, uh, ooh, I was going to bring some schnapps, but we don't have quite enough of that. Can I bring some extra weapons? How do we get to diplomacy? So we've got all this doing. Hmm. I don't know, actually. I fear I bring shame upon my ancestors. Oh, well, we'll bring some clothes with us. All right, morale is going to be really good, so that's going to be nice. Um, oh yeah, this is 10 per click versus, you know, full stack per click. I don't have any we'll items because I haven't done any quests. We'll start the expedition. That's going to be fine. So our flagship's going to go off and try to discover Very the new insane. world. And we can keep track of the expedition. In fact, we'll have plenty of decisions to make as the expedition runs its course. I'll try to let... We'll keep this going until we see our first decision. And then we'll see what goes on after that. All right. That's good. That's good. Resources are coming in. You're here. We can start building ships. There we go. What is this? Ooh, up full frigate ah so the gunboat has 20 navigations and 10 power and the frigate has the other way around so it's much more warlike i'm gonna go ahead and build one of these frigates so that we can have it to defend our borders here maybe what i'll go ahead and do is build a gunboat as well so we'll get those queued up we got sales we've got weapons being made over well, here things, if i was desperate for money i could also start doing some trading um even without a trade deal what i could do is say something like what do i produce a lot of um, you know what, we're start, We're producing a lot of soap very quickly. So if I click here, what I can do is set a trade limit. Try to keep, try to keep 40 soap around. And if we're lo lower than that, we'd buy it. If we're above it, we'd sell it. I can go and say something like, only sell. Tell you what, sell if ever we're above 40. Boom, done. So my other neighbors around here will occasionally come over here and do some trading with me. And that can be handy if you're short on something as well. You can just set a buy order in there and people will start um, coming over and selling it to you. I mean, it'll cost you plenty of money, but it'll bounce back pretty quickly too. All right, this is going swell. Now that we have artisans, we can go and say, start working coal. Oh, I need more artisans. I need 250 for that. All right, well, we'll come back to it. Uh, you are short on cotton, which isn't necessarily a big deal. But I guess I will go and get some more sheep farms here because we still need our clothing to come in and that's consuming some of our cotton as well. There we go. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Let's get some beer production. Uh, we already have grain being made from our bread, so we'll also set up some hop farms. Say up here. And maybe I'll build it thusly. Get some hops going on. And then we can combine that into... Oh, we need a malt house. And a brewery. Boom, boom, boom. So we'll start producing beer, which will make people happy. We need a few more workers. We actually need quite a few more citizens in general. Build a bunch of this. And actually, I'm going to switch to using... Can I build fancier roads? No. I'm going to switch to building with these paved streets instead, and possibly upgrade some. But people move faster along paved streets, and they look pretty. Who doesn't like paved streets, right? Maybe this main street over here. We'll go ahead and get it paved, and that's going to be okay. Ooh. Kind of like that. Boom. The workers will continue to come in, so that's going to... Or rather, our farmers will continue to come in, because these are new buildings. Um, our workforce is good. Excellent. There we go. Madam Kahina fulfilled the trade in Brussels, so presumably she bought some of our soap. I'm not going to have a ceasefire. Sorry, I don't have the money for it. I mean, you know, peace might be nice, but we can't. You are waiting for the malt to come in. And you are just waiting for the hops to come in. What I think I'll do is I'll probably build a second hops farm. Ooh, okay. I'm going to deal with the expedition in a moment. I'll build a second one of these. There we are. Excellent. So, our first choice over here 
The minefield! At the cry of mines, all rush to the prow. Sure enough, several of the conical terrors bob seductively below. Who knows how many of these infernal machines have passed us by or yet await us. False move, and the sea shall be a lake of fire. What the devil do we do? So, we can try to navigate the minefield. We can go through diplomatic papers in search of any clues. Or we can turn around and try to escape. So if we do this, we'll lose some morale. If we do this, it's not going to improve our success chance, because I don't think we've got the diplomatic stuff. But we'll try to do this. So this is going to increase our overall success chance on this mission by 15%. Done. Well, at first, plane sailing the minefield is now gooey with danger. A line of densely packed mines stand between the ship and freedom. With a makeshift device, we might be able to clear the path ahead, explains the officer. Either that, or we try our best to weave through it. We could try to build a device, except I don't think this is a crafting check. We don't have... I didn't bring, say, wood or, or steel or something, so I don't have the resources to craft something. I brought maybe an excess of food. Instead, we'll try to weave through the minefield using our navigation skill. The awfulness has barely begun. Restless Where waves conceal a thickening of mines, and the ship's haphazard path makes impact inevitable. Brace! Scream portside, just prior to a portion of men and timber being propelled violently upward. That no further detonations follows of little relief to the crew who lost many good sail sailors and sustained such significant damage to their ship. So we've lost some morale over here. And eventually we might have to turn around and stop. So we have a choice. We can return home. We can continue, which will cost us some morale. We could also provide extra rations and continue. So this will only cost us four morale as opposed to 10, but we use up a little bit of food, which seems okay to me. So I have no idea what the sort of optimal um, sort of package to send our expeditions with at this point. You know, I've just, just sort of started playing this. You know, what? How do we? How do we kind of min max for success? I have no idea, but uh, I'm very eager to find out. And I do, I do love this game. I love all these animal games. Again, they're so ridiculously addictive. So we've got ourselves. Oh yes, the nifty mullet, our frigate, New and orders. the gorgon gunboat over here. This would probably be a good time to go and start doing missions. For example, um, right over here, I noticed a little triangle on the map. You can change these map filters, uh, but there is a mission waiting over here. You've got potential. So she would offer us thirteen thousand for completing this. She wants me to destroy an enemy frigate. That's somewhere over here. That sounds okay. I'm gonna select both my ships over here. Add them to a hotkey to make life a little simpler. So we got 30 minutes to do it. So I'm going to send my fleets over here, and uh, they'll have to go and destroy something. So a frigate plus a gunboat will hopefully overcome whatever's over there. Cross our finger. Well, it's going to be a frigate, apparently. But uh, hopefully we can pull that off. So these two will move together, which is good. Some of the missions will give us um, items that we can go and increase the strength of our ships, which could be very nice. It's going to be a long... Well, I think what we're going to do is wrap it up here. The longish video as is. But... Um, what a lovely game, you guys. This is still a beta build, early access and all that. Some things are, of course, uh, liable to change between now and release. But uh, I think it's going to be a pretty swell game. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.